So we're going to give you guys a video, an education video on how awesome our brain really work is. So basically some neurology one on one. So we're going to go through the basic neurology of movement. Uh, just some basic five of concepts are. So concept number one is if I want to move the left side of my body, that, can, uh, that is actually happening in the right side of my brain, so the right cortex of my brain. When my right hand is the left side of my body, my left cortex. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to give you, we're going to go a little deep in some, some kind of big words of neuroscience. I want to show you exactly what happens when you need to do some movements and kind of show you what we can do about it. So say I'm going to have, we're doing a simple test and I want to actually have you just tap your fingers, my left finger, and this finger to thumb. A very simple movement, it's actually a neurological test. Here's what's going to happen in my brain to make my finger tap my thumb. So that command is going to start up here in the right cortex of my brain. It's going to send a signal down my, into what's called the medulla oblongata. So I'm going to go down the spinal cord, out to my left hand, and tell my left hand to start to make my finger tapping. At the same time, it's also going to send a picture of what that finger tapping should look like to this little thing called the inferior olive. You actually have an olive in your brain. It's going to send a picture now down across the medulla to my left side cerebellum, a picture of what that tapping should look like. As my finger is tapping, I have all kinds of nerves and endings in my hand and my arm that are sending information back up my arm through the spinal cord into my cerebellum. My cerebellum is then making sure that what's happening here in that picture is matching up. Okay, so if they don't match up, my cerebellum is then going to send that information up. This is called the mesencephalon, up to the thalamus, back to the cortex to tell it how to adjust so it can make the, the signal happen better. So lots of moving parts, lots of very fast moving parts to make a simple tapping happen. So that's the first part of it. So about 10% of this activation that's happening right here, so activation is when my right brain is activating to make this happen. About 10% of that is actually gonna, gonna go towards making this, this, this little thing happen. The other 90% of that is actually gonna send information straight down in this part of my brain system called the PMRF, which is a long name, which is going to send some information down the right side of my body to tell the right side of the body to hold my posture up stable and secure so I can hold my arm up well and do this thing. So I have not only a voluntary action happening here, I also have signaling coming down my spinal cord, down the body as a reflexive stability to actually stabilize my body to actually do the cast. Now it's not much stability to tap my fingers, but if I'm going to depress a kettlebell, I need a lot of stability on this side to be able to leverage to make that tap happen. So I wanted to show you this, guys, this because this is, this honestly is really cool. So first is how incredible we are, we're made, how, just, how much it goes into just a simple finger tapping. So next time you're sitting down writing your name on a piece of paper, doing a ta task with your hand that you always do, or even doing a simple kettlebell press, what's actually occurring to make that happen? It's pretty amazing. Other thing is too, if you want to make things better, if you want to move better, if you want to feel better, if you want to get better at those skills, we have lots of things we need to check that we actually can, can assess. Is my cerebellum working like it's supposed to? Is the information from my hand, the nerves actually sending information to my, my cerebellum actually working the right way to get the right information? Are these two areas here transferring information appropriately to the cortex? And is my cortex actually giving the right commands? So we have lots of options now to start to assess and find out to troubleshoot not only to fix problems and or even prevent problems, but also make things better. So when you come into the gym, we're going to have you do some new things, probably. We may have you actually start to we do some more assessments, some more testing, and you can actually test on yourself. So what we should actually be able to do, we should actually be able to move really well on each side. We should also be able to feel very well, very similar on, on each side. So you can test yourself. You can do the single, simple finger, finger tapping test, left side compared to right side. Is one side harder than the other? If you do some sensory feel and kind of feel how this feels in my arm, can I feel this? Does it feel as sensitive as this side? Is one side less or more? That will give us some clues onto what you possibly can work on to make your movement and mobility better. So we're taking this neuro stuff into a new level. Now we're not only just teaching the, the basics, but also how can we enter into that loop to make what you want to do better, to give you better skill, better strength, better posture, get you out of pain, do what you want to be able to do. Hope this is intriguing for you. If you guys have questions for us, email us. 
Um, so you guys actually want to get a full assessment, and can we actually go? We actually can go through and do a full assessment to find out which of these areas need more work or could we could use some more work to make you even better. Let us know. Give us an email. Contact us, and we'll get you set up.